Okay, first of all, um, I, I was presenting on the first idea here and then uh, you just gave me really very nice question and I also about augmented reality, virtual reality and I also saw your question or like I heard your question about machine and deep learning and I was really impressed because you are really super young. <laughs> How old are you? 11. 11, yeah. wow. And your English is good yeah. and you kind of understand also the concepts or like the basics of computer science. Can, can you tell me like Present yourself. What's your name? What's your um, name? Iter Motay. Iter Motay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you said you are like 11 and um, how do you know about technology? Um, I got it when I was uh, very young. Okay. When my, when my brother told me, when my brother showed me uh, a new world. Okay. New world how, how old were you? Huh? How old were you when you first kind of well, uh, I don't know. Like, you were like seven, six? I don't know. Okay. But, and what was your question about like the magic, uh, no, the deep learning thing? Mm -hmm. Like, the guy who was explaining what's the difference between artificial intelligence and um, machine learning and deep learning. And then you just said the question. Yeah, because uh, he said that uh, deep learning. Uh -huh. It's far more accurate than she learned. Okay. Yeah. By each year. Okay. And, uh, and they questioned uh, why don't people just use deep learning uh -huh. to power their their uh, artificial intelligence okay. robots. Yeah, yeah. Robots. Yeah. Um, he told me that uh, deep learning is used for applications that that don't require a lot of data. Okay. Okay. Cool. So I was impressed that you kind of even can talk about uh, these concepts and ask the question. And here I see you have a Kotlin t-shirt. How did yeah. you get it? <laughs> I asked for it. Who did you ask? Uh, Ian Safas. Ah, okay, okay. And then he gave you this one? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. That's, That's a nice one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, and what was the question you asked me? Oh, I liked that when I was talking about augmented virtual reality, and then I asked all the people, have you ever used augmented reality? Yeah. And then, like, I was surprised, like, well, kind of expected, but surprised that not a lot of people said no. And then you, <laughs> you said yes. Yeah. yeah. And why? How did you use augmented reality? Um, I used it, I used it, and uh, my brother's iPhone 6s. Okay. The iOS play in Sniper 3D. Oh, wow. The, okay. The iOS version had an augmented reality mode. Okay. You play the mission. Hacker. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. How how do you kind of um, interact with technology every day? How how do you what what do you do with technology every day? Well, well, I don't meet technology every day. Yeah. I only have a PC that can <laughs> run flash games at 20 FPS. Okay. That yeah. I, that I learned code. That I code on it. Oh, cool. <laughs> what kind of coding technologies, tools, frameworks do you use? Web. Web and uh, back end, full stack. I'm uh, willing to be a full stack developer. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why would you want to be a full stack developer? Since uh, it's better than front end, better than the back end. Yeah. Okay. Because it's both. Oh. Okay. Do you think uh, development will be always like this? Only back end and front end or like full stack? No. No, I, I met uh, in my school. There was once a, it was a uh, Thursday. Yeah. This Thursday. Mm. Uh, our music teacher uh, has showed us uh, a German. Yeah. A German software developer uh -huh. called Thomas Schmeg. Okay. He was a uh, he was more than ten, he has more more than ten years of experience in Java. Okay. Uh -huh. I asked him I asked him questions like. Why, why do you like Java and it's hard? He told me it's easy and, and I like it. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why does he use Java, not other, not other languages. Yeah. And uh, people don't not only expertise in a single language, in, in, a, in a single field. Yeah. There are people that uh, become professionals in a single language, like mm. him. Yeah. He doesn't know other, other ones. Yeah, what's happening? Just a, he just a, a very, he's just very, Professional yeah. at that 
language. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, what is your favorite language? I'd say. Python. Python. Yeah. Why is it your favorite language? Well, I. I got introduced to it when I was uh, searching for YouTube. When I was searching YouTube, uh -huh. I found a course uh, made by a free code camp Okay. Yeah. It, mm, they showed the basics of Python. Yeah. And how it is very, very good and easy and very powerful. Mm -hmm. They showed that Python is competing with the the, the very big languages. Yeah. Like Java. Uh -huh. It's even as, it's even more productive. Okay. Yeah. In in which way is it more productive? Python unlocks more opportunities. There's a lot of a lot of syntax. Okay. A lot of functions in there. Dev. Okay. <laughs> if statements, variables are easy. You okay. don't you don't have to declare. You don't have to declare like a word, VB script like dear, in the in, in JavaScript, var. You don't have to do that, and uh, and you don't have to add a semicolon. That's the worst <laughs> thing ever. The people even even made memes about it. Okay. Yeah, they made memes that programmers made memes like roses are red, violets are blue. Yeah. Missing semicolon at line thirty two. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I've never heard that one. <laughs> what what have you developed with Python? When I started, I was I was uh, watching that course. Mm -hmm. I followed him when he introduced the if statements, yeah. and uh, he made a calculator. Mm -hmm. And the followed and made it and tried it. Okay. He used the he made an advanced calculator. Yeah. It used uh, the if statements. If okay. uh, if operate, I made a, he made three variables. Mm -hmm. One I called the first number, mm -hmm. and the one the operator, mm -hmm. and the third uh, is a. Uh, the second number. Okay. He used the uh, use the if statements to like uh, say if operator equals plus sign or minus sign or slash sign or uh, of the power sign. Yeah. And he gives a uh, he gives a uh, the thing that he would do, like print mm -hmm. num one plus num two. Okay. Yeah. In the in the I saw another video. Uh, no, not not a video. I was was I was searching the web. Yeah. I found um, I found the web uh, a guy mm -hmm. who posted a, a code for a very advanced Python calculator. It not it did not use the 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 so the so Python. Yeah, yeah. Python only. Yeah. He he included the the math module. Okay. It, it includes the it includes the square root, the cube root. Okay. You you can you can do it. You can with that. Did you try to also follow the tutorial and implement it yourself and just run it? Yeah. Oh, cool. Nice. And they followed it. They've seen how easy Python is. Do you have some couple of friends with you in the same school or somewhere like like your neighborhood, and you kind of do things together and you play around together, or is it just you and your brother? You and my, me and myself. Ah, you and yourself? Yeah. Okay. Because the other guys are not interested in tech or... Mm -hmm. yeah. Or you just don't like the other people? <laughs> no, they're not interested. Ah, they're not interested. And no surprise that uh, I am the only one here uh, <laughs> that's young. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone's like, uh, like exceeded the back of our Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why did you want to come to this event? Well, it, well I, I saw a, a YouTube video saying uh, that a kid, yeah. a, ki a kid, yeah, a 10 year old. Yeah. Has has uh, come to an Apple Worldwide uh, Developer Conference, uh -huh. yeah. and uh, he met Tim Cook. Uh -huh. Tim Cook himself. Mm -hmm. He cooked. He cooked some apps. Like for real or kidding? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh really? Okay. Uh -huh. And uh, I thought to myself, like, why don't I? I think. Uh, why don't I go to a developer conference? Yeah. Yeah. Did you learn anything today? Yeah. What What did you learn? Like the biggest learnings. That of machine learning, the okay. difference, the meaning. Okay. Cool. <laughs> well, do you have any kind of project you would like to work on? Mm, no. Because uh, I don't know what will I do. 
so you're just lacking of ideas, but you like to play around with technology. Yeah. Do you have any YouTube channel or? Mm, I have it, but uh, I don't post things. Yeah. You could also kind of educate, not kids, but like young people, to kind of make them more interested in uh, what? technology. Like you make videos about the things you learn and you share your learning. So for example, what you saw on the, uh, from the Python tutorial, you can kind of explain it to people and you can also explain it in the local language, well, there's, in Darija. Or... There, there's, a, there's a problem. Why? My, problem? my PC can't even install a, a screen recorder. Oh, okay. My PC is worse than a, than a core process. <laughs> really? Which one do you have? Which PC? Mm, a very old. Uh, 80-year-old uh -huh. Cordo Duo PC. Okay. When you see it, uh, it's inside. I just can't, can't describe it. Okay. It's very... But the PC that I saw you were using, it's your friends or...? No. Like the one where you were like typing super fast. I liked actually that you were typing super fast. I was like, wow. <clears throat> Well, that wasn't mine. Okay. Yeah, just that for, for some girls. Okay. Yeah, yeah. They said that, that, that they had to do a project. Okay, and you are kind of helping them? No. Okay. You're yeah, just... uh, no, wait, when I saw these stickers, yeah, yeah. I told them, uh, hmm, you, you used the C++ sticker because you, you know C++? She told us yes, but uh, yeah. I showed her that she doesn't. Oh, okay, you were kind of... Programming in C++ there? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, cool. No, C++ there. Mm, no. Okay. C is just a, just a print F hello world uh -huh. <laughs> in C. And uh, I mean, it's, you can also compile with C++ as well, so... And the problem is, uh, I don't know a good compiler for C++ for C and C++. And uh, there's also a good thing about Python. What's you don't thing? have to compile it. Yeah. You can run it directly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Cool, it's really cool to see. I mean, compiler, you can use GCC, G++, um, or C++, or C. Oh, I don't know how to download G that GCC. Um, I can show you. Hmm? Yeah. I can definitely. But do you have... Um, which operating system do you have? I'm disappointed to say that I use Windows 10. Ah, okay. Which one would you prefer to use? GNU Linux distros. Okay. These are my favorite. Okay, cool. It was really wonderful talking to you and chatting with you. I will just um, use this video and post it on my channel. So basically I'm making uh, normally business related videos, but also trying to talk to people and try to find how can technology help them in their fields. But I will add this video to this series. It's kind of an exceptional video because I just saw you and I wanted to make a video with you. How many subs do you have? Oh, not, not so many. I just started. But I'm, I'm more on Instagram. Yeah. But like on YouTube, I just started this thing. I, I think I have just 150 or something. You can publish it in, uh, in GDC Academia. I will. Yeah. GDC, I, I will GDC definitely. YouTube channel. I will definitely. Share it with them. And as will well. and will JetBrains post uh, my video in uh, their yeah. homepage? I will uh, go for more than JetBrains, you know. I will go for SAP or Google or no, Microsoft no, no, or. Cool. <laughs> okay, cool. Give me a high five. Great. It was really wonderful. Stuff.